the open evening was suggested by our parent council as a way of celebrating the 145th anniversary of the school and quite a few people have been surprised that we haven't waited till the 150th anniversary and the reason for that was there's quite a lot of change being planned in the future of schools in the local area and it was thought that perhaps the school might not be here in another five years and any ex-pupils, ex-teachers from the school living either in the local community or further afield are very welcome to come along. So in the past 31 years all but four of them have been teaching in Jamestown Primary School and obviously over that amount of time I've seen tremendous changes. At that time there were no internal toilets for the children and so we had another porta cabin in the playground where children had to go um, unheated, freezing cold in the winter, um, once we even had to be decanted to neighbouring schools because the pipes had burst. The day that I arrived at the school to start, there were camera crews from the BBC in the playground, uh, but it wasn't for me. Uh, we had triplets starting school that day. Um, Laura, Diane and Catherine McQuilkey. Uh, so, as I say, it wasn't for me. The changes I mostly notice are the, like, the technology, because when I first started, we had a very old BBC computer, very old. And uh, I remember that we had to dismantle it every night and uh, bring it over to the strong room in the main building and then the next morning the janitor would bring it back and I would reassemble it. So things have moved on <laughs> and uh, over the years, um, you know, we've uh, got more computers um, to the stage now that we've got um, laptops, a set of laptops uh, for the ICT. We've got desktop computers, a mixture of Apple and PCs. And in every classroom, um, as, as well as the blackboard, not instead of the blackboard, but as well as the blackboard, we've got what's called an interactive whiteboard. Other things is that uh, the amount of uh, people participation, um, not just in fundraising with their parents, but in making decisions about things in the school, about what they'd like to see in the playground, or you know, things that they'd like to see within the school. And we have our own pupil council, which get elected every year. Uh, this year we've got a new eco-committee, we're looking at ways of um, making sure we use energy etc, you know, very eco-aware. Um, we also have road safety officers who impart things about road safety to other boys and girls. Well, I like all the activities you get here, like uh, the art and the PE, and then we also have the art Um, one of our ex-pupils um, is seen regularly on television. Her name is Kellyanne Bishop and she's a news reader for STV. One of the things that we would like to try to do um, for our forthcoming open evening is know about famous ex-pupils or well-known ex-pupils and what really we would like is that if anyone is looking at the, the Lennox Herald website and they are well known, they're a name that people would know um, in the west of Scotland then they should please contact the school.